What's up guys? Today I'm going to be doing a review of these Geezer's Hammer Boxing Gloves. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so today we have these Geezer's Hammer Boxing Gloves. We'll do a close-up weigh-in and review on. I got mine in 16 ounce gray, neon yellow, and black. Geezer's is a company based out of the UK, um, one of the bigger boxing retailers um, out of the UK, much like BoxFit UK. If I were to compare them, they're very similar to like Title Boxing and Ringside that we have here stateside um, in where they sell their own equipment as well as other brands as well. Um, I got these in 16 ounce. These are definitely a lot bigger and much longer as far as the, the glove goes. I actually have a pair of my rival RB4s to show you the actual length of this glove. It's definitely longer with a longer cuff. Um, you can actually see the distance from the bottom of the cuff to the center portion of the glove, how much higher, you know, you're looking at maybe like two inches uh, in length compared to these RB4s. Um, full leather construction made in Pakistan. You can see here the, the leather has kind of a satin look to it. You do have the Geezer's logo printed on the back, three and a half inch Velcro strap about an inch of padding on the back of the wrist, about a half inch of padding on the inside of the wrist. Uh, microfiber tri liner. It's really nice for wicking away moisture. It doesn't bunch up. You have the 16 ounce weight right there printed on the inside. Double stitching throughout. Um, stitching could definitely be better. This is, a, I would say, Geezer's mid-tier glove, um, but you can see kind of where the stitching is pulling through. You do have a medium-sized grip bar, ventilated holes right there on the palm as well as the thumb leather attached thumb but the stitching i would say is probably if i were to point anything out would be the areas of opportunity here on the thumb as well you can see where the split thumb is at some of the stitching pulling on the leather uh, but definitely a longer glove um, thumbs are a little awkward i'll explain that a little bit more in the read but they kind of they kind of flare out and are a little bit lower than i'd like but let's go ahead and put these on the scale and see how much they weigh they're advertised as being 16 ounces so we'll see if that stays true the right glove is right at 15.6. And the left glove is right at 15.7. So they're almost both at 16 ounces, which is nice to see. About, But they're exactly on weight to each other. So weight-wise, they did a really nice job of keeping these on weight. So let's go ahead and do the review. Hey, what's up guys? Carlo here. Today I'm gonna to be doing a review of the Geezer's Boxing Hammer Boxing Gloves. I got mine in this dark gray, a neon yellow, and black color scheme, 16 ounce Velcro closure. Um, you have a choice between 10 other color schemes, including this one. So that's gonna be 11 total. Um, you can also get it in lace up. So you have two different closure types and sizing wise, anywhere between 12 to 20 ounces. Now this particular glove is actually made in India, um, which is not very common. You typically see mass produced gloves or more gloves uh, mostly made in Pakistan, but there's been a few clubs I've seen that come through that have been made in India. And Geezer's Boxing is a company based out of the UK. Um, they're very similar to Title Boxing for us here stateside in the fact that they're a really large company that sells uh, all kinds of boxing equipment, different brands, Nike, um, you know, Winning, Fly, you name it, they, they pretty much care rival. But they have their own branded products as well with, with their own logos on it. Um, as well. So uh, they're very similar title or even ringside that we have here stateside. Now with these hammer boxing gloves design wise these are definitely a glove that has a longer cuff. Um, they're a little deceiving in the fact that they look larger from the exterior but when you put your hand in it they're very snug fitting. So when you look at the glove and you take them out of the box your first impression is like wow these gloves are pretty long. The cuff is long they seem really big but when you actually slide your hand into these gloves they're pretty snug fitting. Um, like I said earlier, they remind me of the Revgear Sentinel S4 gloves in, in the size and just kind of the shape of the glove. Um, you can see that I got mine in this dark gray color scheme. It does say Geezer's on the back right here. This is a full leather construction glove. I do have the split thumb right here with the neon yellow and the black, a leather attached thumb. Rolling over to the palm side, you do have a medium sized grip bar that has good density to it ventilated holes on the palm as well as on the thumb. You do have that gray piping that loops over on the palm side and about three quarters of an inch, I'd say of, of padding here on the palm side. 
Uh, on the outer edge, it goes up to right where the, that piping kind of makes a U-turn. And on the Velcro side right here, it goes up to right where the thumb, start, the, the thumb begins right here. A full wraparound three and a half inch Velcro strap that's made out of leather as well right there. So that grabs on pretty standard with the Velcro patch. It says 16 ounces on the Velcro patch as well, or excuse me, on the Velcro attachment. And then on the inside, the liner is actually kind of a satin microfiber liner. It's actually really cool feeling and it has a nice smooth feel to it. It doesn't feel uh, very bunchy. It doesn't feel like um, kind of the polyester nylon type. It has a little bit more of a microfiber smooth feel uh, to it. And then it has the tags right here. It says made in India uh, with a 16 ounce on that inside tag. And then you do have the elastic piece that keeps the palm together so it doesn't stretch out when you slide your hands into the glove. So overall, nothing too crazy with this glove. One thing to notice is when you're holding it, it's a very top heavy glove. So you can see that it does sag a good amount. And that's because there's a, a lot of foam that's really kind of pushed towards the front where the knuckle area is at with these gloves. So you can see it's definitely more of a top heavy glove. It does use multi-layer foam padding, um, but I wish there was a little bit more uh, balance in this glove. And the reason that you see that sag is because of how long this cuff is. So you have a lot of, of material in between the top of the glove to where the bottom of the cuff is. Now you do have this wrist support here, you do have this padding that kind of helps, you know, balance out the weight. But between the padding right here and up into this, the knuckle area, you pretty much have this whole area right here that has to support all the weight of the glove. So you can see it does have a little bit of sag because of how much weight is towards the top, or should I say the hand compartment of the glove. Quality of these gloves are okay. Um, they're definitely not the best when it comes to stitching. The leather is a really nice quality. You can see that it has a very nice satin smooth feel to the leather. I didn't find any imperfections with it. But the main area of concern, I would say, is definitely the stitching. You can see the stitching like here on the split thumb. It's kind of pulling away at the leather. And then here is where the thumb meets the index finger. You can kind of see where when they stitched it and they went through with the sewing machine, it kind of punched a little extra holes into the leather. Um, you know, the double stitching on the palm side actually looks pretty good and symmetrical, but it's really just the areas of stress points where you can see that they uh, kind of punched through with the sewing machine, like right here on the outer edge, could have definitely been better. Um, when you come down here where the hinge point is at, where the back of the, the hand compartment meets the wrist, you can see a little bit uh, sloppy um, stitching right here that could have been done better going across. The piping actually looks pretty good. And the leather on the palm side as well as on the wrist support area looks really good. You know, stitching is pretty straight. It's just the edges that I would say are really the areas that you see the most um, areas of opportunity. And again, you can see right there where the piping is stitched to the inside where the liner is at. Again, could just be clean, a lot cleaned up. You, you know, comparing this to gloves like Winning or Fly where they are a lot more meticulous. You can see the detail they put into the areas that you don't see. And that's a lot of times you can really judge a company and on the level of, of care they take when they make a glove is the areas that you don't see, right? Like inside the liner, the little nook, nooks and crannies in the gloves is typically where a company will take a shortcut and kind of rush through it and put it together. And it's not to say that it won't last a long time or it or won't do what it's designed to do. But it's just the little extra details you see with some of the higher end companies that they take with those gloves. But again, you can see kind of the stitching, how they went right even here where the piping is at. It's almost like they went off track and kind of went up onto that piping and kind of, kind of came back. So just areas like that where, where it's kind of off. So the quality of the stitching definitely could be improved. Um, but the good thing about it, though, is the weight was on point. Like I showed you guys earlier, when I put these on the scale, they're almost at 16 ounces. Weight-wise, they were symmetrical to each other, so the left and the right glove were both pretty much the same weight, which is great to see. Sometimes you have gloves that are way overweight, or the left glove is like half an ounce or an ounce heavier or lighter than the right glove. So it's nice to see that the weight's on point. Leather looks pretty good overall. Um, I would say just the stitching is, is kind of where um, the opportunity lies with this particular glove. Now comfort, sliding your hand into the glove. The first thing you notice is how snug it is. 
and how long the cuff is. You can actually see, this is where my elbow is at, and you can see the cuff is maybe about two inches away from where my, the this little area, this portion where my, my arm turns 90 degrees, you can see it has a really long cuff. The wrist support feels really good. When you go up in here though, the thumb is a little awkward. Now I think because of how the thumb is shaped, it kind of, kind of, it kind of flares out. I feel that my thumb jams at the top of the thumb compartment. If they were to turn this in and kind of push it up and be a little bit more parallel with the glove, I think the thumb would be much more comfortable. But because it feels a little short and it flares out, I feel like when I have my hand wraps on, these gloves are on, this kind of pinches down. It's, it was kind of reminds me of those Everlast um, Elite Pro Fight gloves I had a while back to where when I was using them, I took my hand out and there's this big red mark around this part of my thumb. So these are 16 ounces. I mean, I can imagine if I had larger hands, it would be even tighter. The other thing is there's a lot of foam. You can see it's almost an inch of foam right here on the thumb. So you, get, you feel it push against your thumb and my thumb actually kind of goes numb right here at the, the, the tip as well as the amount of, of padding they have against the back of your thumb. Um, so if they could maybe reduce that or maybe put a little bit softer foam, give you a little bit more breathing room for your thumb and be more comfortable. The finger compartment feels really good. It, de it definitely on the snug side, again, they, they really load a lot of foam into this glove. Um, but it's nice and deep. You can make a pretty good fist with this. They do cover the stitching with a piece uh, of neoprene or foam. So they do a really nice job of adding that little luxury in there. Um, but it's nice and deep. I don't feel like my fingers collapse on each other. It's not too wide. But again, they just use a lot of foam over your fingers as well as in your thumb. So it just feels a little too snug. I wish they would kind of loosen it up to where you don't feel as snug. So it's gonna take definitely a break in period. Another thing is, the speaking of breaking in periods, you can see that it, I can't really open my palm up. So they use multi-layer foam padding with this glove. It's definitely gonna have to be broken in, both for the thumb as, as well as the finger compartment. Um, using these on the heavy bag, using them for sparring, that's a great thing. It's a training glove, so you can really use it for sparring on the heavy bag for mitts, etc. cetera. But um, it's definitely a lot tighter um, than I would like, especially for a 16 ounce glove. Protection and performance. Now, looking at the, the foam on this glove, I love the fact that they use multi-layer foam padding. The density of it is medium to firm. You can see that it's not a really soft glove in the fact that your knuckles will sink all the way in. So you definitely get some good protection with these gloves. Good pop, as well as they're really good for pretty much anything in the gym. Um, it doesn't give you the best feedback. It's not really a, like a Mexican style glove where even you punch you can really feel your knuckles go through like pinpoint accuracy, but it does a really good job of balancing between that and protecting your hands. Um, so overall, protection, performance is really good. If you want a little bit more of a protective glove, these definitely would be on that spectrum rather than something that's more of a Mexican style, softer glove, latex style to where you can really feel your punches sink in. Um, cost wise, these gloves are 45 British pounds which converts over to about 53 to 54 um, US dollars. It's actually a really good price, but if you consider in shipping, um, you're looking at probably anywhere between 75 to $80, uh, which is not bad for this glove. I wouldn't say it's a bad or a, a good value or a bad value. I just think that there's a couple of improvements they could do with this glove, which would really push it up into the next level in terms of um, being one of their better sellers, in, in my opinion, you know, I think, uh, this is more of kind of their mid-tier glove. It's not their high-end elite glove. It's right in the middle, but I think if they can maybe fix the thumb and maybe clean up the stitching a little bit more, this definitely would be uh, a much more viable glove in my opinion. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the, in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find these geezer hammer boxing gloves. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.